Hello, thank you so much for joining me yet again. It is indeed a pleasure and it's an honor to be with you. I'm here to help you and encourage you as you walk on this journey into finding the one. So I want to share some experiences with you that I have and I hope they can help you. There are three type of guys that I, I've just recently um, had an experience with and I'm going to tell you. I joined this Facebook um, dating. It's a part on Facebook. You can do the dating thing. And I've gone through just, you know, looking and I'm very selective and I'm very careful. And But these are three type of guys that uh, I think you need to stay away from. And I've written it all down and I don't have names for them. So if you can give me a name for these guys, I would appreciate it very much. <laughs> okay, the first guy. Guy number one, you need to stay clear and run. Okay. You guys, when you talk, you have a very good conversation. This is guy number one. You have very good conversation. And he's, you know, kind of meeting your requirements as far as your, uh, as far as he's working, got his own place. Um, he says he's not seeing anyone. Uh, he's meeting requirements uh, spiritually. He said, you know, he's connected to God and, and you talk about that and it's kind of seems like it's, it's lining up. But here we go. This is what he says. I called you, but it went straight to voicemail. That's one thing he says. Said that more than once, about three or four times. I think it was three times. You know, in different days, you know, over a period of time, maybe a week or two. Then he says, I'm going to be off this weekend and uh, we'll probably be able to hang out. The next day or two, you know, I got called in to work and um, I'm going to be making X amount of dollars. Okay, what's wrong with that? Let's dissect that. You don't want to waste people's time. That's number one. And it's all right to be able to, you know, say you called into work, but is this going to be your regular routine? You're busy and you don't really have time to fellowship. You know, even if it's on the phone, you've asked them if they call you, if you would leave a message, uh, you know, leave a message because, uh, you know that they called and you can call them back, but they won't leave a message and it's not on your timeline. Your phone, you know, when you look at your phone, you pick up your phone and you're looking to see, okay, you're looking at your call line and, and, and you don't see where he's called. None of the times he said he's called. So what guy is this? He needs a name. I don't have a name for him. But guess what? You need to stay clear of him. If he's lying to you now, what is he going to do later? Stay clear of this guy. I called you. It's not on the line timeline. I'm going to spend time with you. But I always have something to come up. Let him go. You're wasting your time and your energy. That's guy number one. Loose him. Let him go friendly warning. God number two. These are actual experiences. I'm not going to give any names. These are actual experiences that I've had. Hopefully you won't have to go through it. And if you do, you know what to do. God number two. You have a great conversation the first time. You talk for hours on the phone the first time you guys talk. You let him know that he can call you and it's all right because you guys have such a, a good connection. And you let him know, you know, when he can call. It's such a great connection. And you're thinking very, you're being very hopeful. Everything seemed to be lining up. Um, the next time you hear from him is two or three weeks later. The brother hadn't called you. He hadn't texted you or nothing. Just out of the blue, he texts you and say, I'm waiting to hear from you. This is about three weeks later now. So you text him, wow, we talked three weeks ago. I thought we had a connection. What happened? 
Number one, his brother died. Maybe he did. Number two, his house burned down. That's number two. This is what that guy actually said to me. These two things. I was texting him. Wow. Could these things have happened? Yes. His brother could have died. You know, COVID, of all this stuff going on. So that could have very well have happened. His house could have burned down. But you hadn't heard from him in three weeks? When your house burned down, if you like somebody... Can't you text them and say, you know, I'm in the midst of a tragedy or something? Run. If he's going to tell you and keep things from you now, he's going to keep them from you later. I personally have to pass on that. Now, some ladies will hang on to them and think it's all right. But he, you got this great connection in the beginning and you don't hear from him almost a month later. Wow, the connection was really great in his mind, huh? Or was it just in your mind? I would suggest you run from him. But you know, each person is different. You got to pray on it, ask the Lord about it. You know, he may have been cleaning up some loose ends or something with somebody else, even though he told you he didn't have nobody else. So it could have been a number of things. I'm not here to second guess, uh, but I know that, you know, certain things are not lining up and I just say goodbye. And I want to remind you of this. This is just friendly advice. My advice is not for everyone. Every situation is so different. These are just examples of guys that I have run into in the last few months during this pandemic. And I haven't seen either of them in person. I haven't seen none of them in person. Now, the third one. You have a great conversation the first night you talk. You FaceTime this one. You're FaceTiming and you're having a great conversation. You both like and enjoy the conversation. It was marvelous. The next day, he texts you, hello, beautiful. Have a great day. You text him back. Oh, you're so excited. You don't hear get a call. The next day, he does the same. He texts you, hello, beautiful. Have a great day. You being you, you text him. Look, you think we could chat? Well, I've got some errands to run. When I'm done with my errands, we can chat. Okay. Eight to 10, eight, 10 or 12 hours later, I think it was 12 hours later, he finally calls. By then, you tired. <laughs> it's now like 10 o'clock at night, you tired. You still have a, you put up that energy. You still have a great conversation with him. You guys just really, two or three hours, you're having a great conversation. It's wonderful. You're just loving it. Next day, he texts you, good morning, beautiful. Have a great day. The next day, oh, and he tells you that evening by text. I'm still at work. It's about 430. And you Okay. The next day, he texts you, good morning, beautiful, have a great day, or whatever it is he's saying, and you excited. He said, I didn't talk to you yesterday, so I'll call you tonight. This is, okay, let's see, Friday night. Okay, so now we're into the first of the week. So that's Tuesday. You've had two great conversations. Oh, it sounds so wonderful. He said he's available emotionally and he's interested. So you on cloud now. Nine. So around, let's see, that's Tuesday. He didn't talk, talk to you Tuesday. He talked to you Sunday. So he's going to call you Tuesday. He never called. By 1130, he texts you, are you still up? You text yes. He still don't call. So the next day, you're like, wow, that's interesting. So you go on about your day. And so finally, he texts you, good morning, beautiful. How are you? Da, da, da. I'm doing great. How are you? So the next couple of days, you decide, why don't we, uh, why don't we stop all the texting? And when you get a chance to fit me in, we can talk. 
So he texts you that Thursday. Hello, beautiful. You send a smiley face back. You kind of mm, feel in a different way now. So the next day, he doesn't say a thing. The next two or three days, he doesn't say anything and you don't say anything. So you say, okay, now we need to put this to rest or something. So Monday, you decide Monday morning, you get all dressed up and dolled up and you call him by FaceTime. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Doing great. Oh, you looking beautiful. Oh, thank you. I just want to check in with you. I hadn't heard from you to see how you're doing and what's going on. I talked to you Friday. Whoops. Friday? Yeah, we talked Friday. No, that wasn't me. We did not talk Friday. Let me check my call line. We did not talk Friday. So you've got to make some decisions. He said, well, okay. Well, you, you don't harp on we didn't talk. You say, okay. Uh, he said, well, why don't we talk tonight? I said, oh, great. You say, oh, great. So tonight come. Nine o'clock come. Ten o'clock come. No call. No text. No, he texts you about seven. What you doing? I said, um, hoping to talk to you. He says, I'm doing some paperwork. I'll uh, call you later. Later never comes. So you're at a point where you need to make the decision. You don't need to be hanging on with this because this dude is not interested in you. If he is interested in you, he is going to make time to talk to you. And it is not going to be something where he just keep putting you off. So you have to make some choices and decisions. And I really need names for each one of these guys. I don't know what to call them. But they're each different, but kind of very similar. So in the comments, I'd like for you to give me a name for these guys, please. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and have a blessed day. Okay, thank you for listening. Stay away from those guys.